Uh, Donald Trump and Elon Musk, what do they have in common? Well, let's just say if they have pressure or problems from within their respective organizations, one, of course, is the White House, the other is an electric car company. But again, some uh, issues that Charlie Gasparino is getting into with Elon Musk and where he stands right now in an ongoing investigation. It, with the SEC investigation into his tweet, funding secured <clears throat> for a privatization, also past statements that he made, that the company made, about the production schedule of the, t of the Tesla 3, the, their, their, right. their, their, I guess, lower cost uh, car. Um, and we're getting this from people close, would have direct knowledge of the SEC investigation. Now, we should point out, this thing is not done. It could take six months. It could take a while. They have to look at documents from what, what I understand. They're doing a lot of that now. They have to interview board members and key executives. And at the end, they have to interview Musk. But hey, I'm getting this from people with knowledge of, of the SEC's thinking on this, the Secur Securities and Exchange Commission, their enforcement. Right. They're saying that an ink, the inquiry is likely to be settled, that the SEC does not, apparently, is signaling in some way right now it is not looking um, for some sort of protracted legal thing, a la what they went through with Mark Cuban. Remember, Mark Cuban actually contested something with them and uh, went to court and won. They're not right. looking to go to court, to an administrative court judge. They're looking to somehow reach a settlement with him, which makes me think, if you're going to game plan this thing, if that's the case, that's the thinking I'm getting this from people close to the inquiry, that, uh, you know, they're probably not going to ban him forever. You know, they're going to reach some common, common ban goal. Ban from the company. Yeah, where they're going to reach. I'm just, sur that's, my sur that's my surmise. I don't know. I could just tell you that it looks like they're going to reach a deal where you settle the case. Neither side, the, the, the target, meaning Musk and Tesla, neither admits or denies wrongdoing, and you move on. And uh, you get a pound of flesh, you get something. Uh, it, that's what it looks like as of now, because it doesn't, because the SEC is, uh, from what I understand, loathe to have this go to court where they might have to roll a dice before a judge. Mark Cuban got hit with an insider trading uh, violation. He uh, contested the, the, uh, the, the court case, and he won. That's okay, right. and it, it, was, it was not a clear-cut case. Now, Musk, it may be more clear-cut when they get into the documents and everything, but from what I'm hearing as of now, and this is in the early stages, six months away, it could be six months away or maybe longer, um, they're, uh, they're, they're talking settlement as opposed How's to... How's his board doing with all of this? We should point out that James Murdoch is on the board. Sure. Um, uh, what is his title? Rings He's one, the bell. one of the yeah. top executives here in 21st Century Fox. Um, listen, the board is under a, a degree of pressure in this way. And, um, you know, he had been putting out sort of marginally marginal statements or right. controversial statements about the company's production for a long time. Uh, you're going to see, I think, if the SEC does its due diligence, it's going to ask the board, like, why didn't you step in when he was saying that the Tesla Model 3 was going to do X and it, net, and it didn't meet that target? Well, even on the private funding issue, well, that's another didn't one. bounce that off yeah, the board. I mean, but, but, but they have not, to your point, you know, as we've seen, well, you remember the Papa John's thing when he was right. forced out, and when, you know, then, then it was, the, the arrows were out. Uh, but there's nothing like that. Don't so see far. it. Don't see it so far. But you know, you never know because this guy yeah. goes off on Twitter. He recently had some sort of an email exchange with with BuzzFeed over that that that, that cave diver. I know. He doesn't. And, and by the way, I don't want to go through that whole thing. No, but no, you I'm just glad you're done. Google it. <laughs> All right. Uh, real quickly on the Les Moonves situation, a you know, 100 million dollar payout's being rumored. Yeah, that. I What's think it could be. I, I think I, we should point out that the num that number was floated by CNBC. It may be true, it may not. My sources are telling me it's fluid. He probably wants more, okay? Uh, the real crux of the story here is this. Uh, CBS board, as we exclusively reported, had hired an executive search firm weeks ago um, looking for a potential, or con at least consulted with an executive search firm weeks ago to, to, to talk about a replacement for Moonves. That makes you think that Joe Ionello, his no nominal number two, the guy who will be the interim, for, for, from what we understand, may not be the long-term CEO. It may go for someone else. We don't know that, but when you hire an executive search firm, you're looking for mu much more than people internally. They knew, they, they know they have Joe Ionello, uh, the COO, in-house. In, in what is it safe to say he's gone? I move this is done. Yeah. I, I mean, imminently right. toast by everything I, I've said. Uh, the real question is this, and here's another thing that we exclusively reported early on, Fox. In, as part of this departure package with the CBS board, 
they're working with Sherry Redstone, the controlling shareholder from National Amusements, to try to get restrictions on her for what she could do with CBS. They want to prevent her from essentially merging Viacom with CBS. They also, from what I understand, want to sell CBS to another player. Which uh, is what Moon does. Which is what Moon does. So th this... So he wins even if he goes out. Well, if he gets stock, which a lot of people talk about him getting stock, he wins big time. But just so you know, Neil, um, that is a key thing. If Sherry Redstone cannot step in and exert control and merge Viacom with, uh, with CBS, if CBS will then be able to sell itself to AT&T or to whomever, right. um, if AT&T can, I, I don't know about, I, I, I just threw that name out there, I don't know that for a fact. They're obviously immersed in this Time Warner business, which is being challenged by the federal government as we speak. Uh, but that's their game plan, to keep her away from the company in a sense that they are somewhat, some, somewhat on their own okay. and sell it. Very interesting. You were ahead of this. So much stuff. Thank you, my friend. Anytime. Very much.